Hey guys, it's Alyssa the Recipe Critic and today we are pulling out the slow cooker for slow cooker beef tips. This is an easy weeknight meal that has tons of flavors and lets the slow cooker do all of the work. First we're going to start by searing three pounds of stew meat. First we're going to add the olive oil to the skillet over medium high heat. While that's heating up, we're going to add some salt and pepper to our stew meat and give it a good toss to evenly coat. Next, we're gonna add our stew meat in batches to the hot skillet, keeping it in a single layer. So the reason why we're searing the meat is because we wanna caramelize the natural sugars and give it that nice, rich brown crust on the surface that just brings out the savory flavor. And make sure that you only sear the meat, do not cook it all the way through. Once it's perfectly seared, we're gonna just throw it straight into the crock pot. Next, we're gonna head back to the counter and we're gonna get everything ready to put into the crock pot. First thing we're gonna need is an onion. First things first, we're gonna start by peeling our onion. And I find the easiest way is just to cut off both ends. Sometimes the outer layer is a little bit hard to get off, so I just take off the first two layers when I peel. And then we're gonna give our onion a good dice. And you may cry during the process. Once it's nice and diced like this, then add it into your crock pot. Next, we need some mushrooms, and we're gonna give these a good slice. You can cut them however you like. I like to just slice. And if you're not a mushroom lover, then just leave them out. Once you're done slicing, then just add them to your slow cooker. Next, we're gonna add the onion soup mix, and if you are unable to find it, then I have a great homemade recipe on the website. We're gonna add our onion soup mix, and then next, our garlic. Lastly, we're gonna pour in our beef broth. Next, we're gonna put the lid on. Now we're gonna cook it on low for five to six hours or high for three to four. And one hour before it's done, we're gonna add a cornstarch slurry that's gonna help thicken it up. To make that slurry, we're gonna add a fourth a cup of water to three tablespoons of cornstarch. Give it a good whisk. And then you would just pour this in and give it a good stir. This recipe goes great over some mashed potatoes or pasta. And for the full written recipe, visit therecipecritic.com.